Hello everyone. In this video we're going to deduce the most famous theorem in mathematics. Which one is that? That's right. The Pythagoras theorem. Are you ready? Let's go. The Pythagoras theorem is only valid for right triangles, those with a 90 degree angle. Here's an example on the screen. The two short sides are called cafeti. Let's say the lengths of these are x and y. The longest side is the hypotenuse, uh, the length of which we'll say is h. The area of our right triangle, base multiplied by height divided by 2, is x times y divided by 2. Instead of writing down the Pythagoras theorem straight away, let's see how it comes about gradually. That way you'll get a clear understanding of it. Starting with our triangle, we go to this vertex and draw a line perpendicular to the hypotenuse that's h in length downwards. And there it is. From the end point, we repeat the process and draw a perpendicular line of length h to the right, there. And finally, we repeat again, starting from the end point and drawing a perpendicular line of length h upwards. There it is. As we've said, the length of each of these sides is h, so clearly we've just made a square of side h. The area of this square is h squared. Now we're going to draw horizontal and vertical lines that go through the vertices of this square. From this point we draw a horizontal line, from this point a vertical line, from this point a horizontal line, and finally from this point a vertical line. Notice we've obtained a new square. We'll erase the leftovers. Look at our original triangle. These right triangles we've drawn, this, 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 and this, are all the same as the original, so that the dimensions coincide. This measures x, this measures y, this measures x, this measures y, this measures x, this measures y, and this measures x, and this measures y. So the area of these triangles is equal to that of the original triangle, x times y divided by 2. For this new square, all the sides measure x plus y. So the area of this square is x plus y squared. Notice that this square is the union of the inner square plus these four triangles. So the area of the big square is the area of the small square plus the area of these triangles. There are four equal triangles with an area of x times y divided by 2, giving a total area of 4 times x times y divided by 2. Substituting the area of the big square is x plus y squared and is equal to the area of the small square, h squared, plus 4 times x times y divided by 2, or 2 times x times y. The square of x plus y, the square of a sum, equals the square of the first term, x squared, plus twice the first term times the second, 2xy, plus the square of the second term, y squared. This equals h squared plus 2xy. The 2xy on the left side cancels with the 2xy on the right, so we're left with x squared plus y squared equals h squared. And this is the Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem states that in a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the catheti is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. Great! 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be doing our best to make the videos that you deserve. Thank you very much and see you again soon.